and welcome back guys so what are we doing today we're going to be teaching you how to keep your map safe and your club safe how to do proper age checking so starting off you know this new member you know this verified member so recommend putting one of these systems in your map or during your club events so starting off how to keep your club safe and your club events safe Make people join your Discord server to get age verified slash ID verified. Do not do the date of birth system because people can lie about their date of birth and you run the risk of letting someone in that shouldn't be there by doing the date of birth checking system. This is why you see a lot of clubs currently doing the ID verification system where you've got to take a picture of your ID showing your picture of, your, of you on your ID and the date of birth. That's why most clubs will ask you to take a picture of yourself and flip off the camera. No parents going to want to flip off the camera. And those that do either don't realize what's going on there, but you kind of see what's going on there. That's what the club seems to be doing now, is they're doing the ID checking system. How does the ID checking system make your club safer? One, you know that they're actually, you know, 18 or older to be in your club. They receive the age check role inside of your server. Then you can run the guest check-in system where, let's say, I'm coming to the club event and I come over here to verified members and I talk to the bouncer going, hey, my name's Dark Angel and I'm checking in. They'll go over and check it, look at the check-in list where you go over to the Discord server and you type in your name, your viewer chat name saying you're checking in. Okay, Dark Angel, you're all set. They'll lower the shield and let you in. Let's say you're a member, a new member, and let's say you've never been to this club. There's gonna be a shield up. You're gonna ask the bouncer. Hi, I'm new to this club. How do I get in? Oh, you have to join the Discord server and get ID verified. Okay, can you send me a link? And that's what you're gonna do in order to go to a club event. So that's the recommended system to do right now is to do ID verification, ID verification of age. Uh, make it so they have to take a picture of their ID, only show the picture of them on the ID and the date of birth, everything else crossed out. Make them take a picture of themselves flipping off the camera. No parents are going to flip off the camera. And it shows them. With a piece of paper saying the day they, they joined the server. It shows the date, the time. It, it says their Discord and viewer chat name. And therefore it really shows it to them. Uh... So that's how this verification system works. Those that are verified go to a guest check-in channel, say their viewer chat name. They wait for the bouncer to confirm that their viewer chat name is in the guest check-in channel. And they check to make sure that they have the age verified role and they will get let in. Those that are new have to sit there and wait until an admin or owner of a club, of the club in question, can check the ticket to make sure that it is verified. All right, so that's the first line of defense right there. Never ever do the data birth checking data. Uh, never ever do the data birth checking system. Yikes! If I could speak, that just sitting there like. Bloop. Why never do that? Because you run the risk of letting people in that shouldn't be there. That's why I don't do it. That's why we do the ID checking system. So, like every other club. They're doing ID checking now. They're doing it for a reason. Alright, second way to keep your club safe. Flash club map safe. Have the door off by default. Where when you join the map, let's say there's no club event going on, you can't get in there because the door is off by default. Well, How is this good? Because one, it keeps people that are 18 plus only can go into your club and those that are not can't get out of the spawn. They can't actually get into the main part of the map. So this is good. Uh, on top of this, this is a great way to keep your door synced. So you notice how some club maps have a problem with their door desyncing because they leave it on by default? Well, it turns out if you have your door off by default, the collider, that it's better synced. Yeah, I, I fucked around with map technology for a little bit. I'm like, wait a minute. Let's try it. What? Let's see what happens if I leave the door off. Holy shit, it's better synced. I should have done this a long time ago. <laughs> so you kind of see why all the cl club maps that I have are going through its updates of where the door's now off by default. And you have to ask to, ask to get the code to use the map. Uh, 
So it's a nice second layer of defense to keep people that shouldn't be in there out, you know. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that's how to do the age verification system. I'm now going to take you through the rest of the map here. Please remember that this map is currently under construction. It's a work in progress. Uh, is this the code? Yes, it is. So this map will be for sale eventually. Baby steps. Takes time. So here's the staff room button. It turns on. Uh, you should definitely have your global buttons where they can only be accessed by the DJ or an admin or founder of the club or owner of the club or event host. Therefore, when a dancer is dancing down there, no one accidentally turns off the stage while they're dancing on it. It'd be quite distracting, though, if they were doing a flip. You see why it's on a secondary keypad where only those that should know the code have access to it. You got your TP pads here. Now if you go to the security room, the shield's now up. No one can go through it. If we press this button on, this is going to turn on the door. So now if I hit the respond button, you're going to notice that I can't go through here anymore. Alrighty. So now that the green circle is on saying that the door is now on, you're going to notice that the door is now on, like so. I haven't actually built a door going back to spawn yet. It's on my project list. But, you know, all you really need is a spawn, have new member and verified members system set up where verified members come over here, they check in, the bouncer confirms it, and they get let in. New members over here are being told, oh, you have to join the Discord server, you got to take a picture of your ID, show the picture on the ID, show the date of birth, cross everything else out, we don't want to see it. Uh, take your picture of yourself, holding a piece of paper saying your Discord name, your VR chat name, the day, uh, day and date that you join, and time, and you're flipping off the camera. Not hard. That's how most clubs do it these days, anyways. Um, so I'm aware that there is someone that was at our last event. Apparently, they were recording video, and apparently, um, like all clubs. All clubs don't allow any recording at all. We don't allow recording here at all either. We don't allow we don't allow picture taking. We don't allow recording. Uh, we allow our bouncer team to record video to catch anyone in the act, so we have proof of them doing something wrong. So, we caught two people that joined our Discord server that were age verified, were their ID verified, and for some reason during the last event. They came into our event and said that, oh, you got it. Hey, they just let us in. And they had video of it. And we're aware that they're spreading this around to slander Dark Angels Club, otherwise known as misinformation and defamation. And it will also show on their video, if they haven't edited it, that they tried crashing our event with an avatar where it had laser beams coming out of the eyes. And if you see this video floating around, just ignore it. Someone's doing misinformation, they're doing defamation, and slander. Uh, because they were age verified in the server, yet they decided to say words on their video with the intent to start shit with a club. They are now both banned from the club for slander, defamation, and misinformation. And we're just going to use this video that's being that's floating around right now as a way to filter out people that are here for the club and those that really are my friends because real friends only act on proof that it has both sides of the story, not one side of the story and any of that just jump the gun and ban you and defriend you because they saw something of what someone's been shoveled in their face clearly are not your friend or not good people to be around so anyways hopefully this video was uh helpful on how to be safe regarding age verification and how to keep your map safe. All you really need is a good spawn, good security, good bouncers to know what the hell they're doing, have the proper systems in place for age verification, and make sure your door is off at default. This way, if you're not running a club event, no one can really use your world unless they ask you to, for the code to get into it, you know. Safety comes first.
Anyways, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. Hopefully this video was helpful. I will try to make more tutorials in the future that are, okay, how to run a dance event and be successful, and things like that at some point, but if I don't have the time to do so, it's easier said than done. Anyways, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys again soon. Hopefully this was helpful.